Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It is Tuesday, March 21st, 2023, on the Drunk Book Group Tis Beer Time. I, I gotta tell you, it's, it's, today was the first full day of spring, and it was a beautiful, beautiful day here in southern Ontario. It was like 11, 12 degrees where I was. I mean, I worked all day, but it looked nice outside. No, when I left work today, after a ten and a half hour shift, I thought, this is a beautiful day. But by the time you get home, shower, change, have your family time, you know, have dinner together, talk about your days and whatnot. So yeah, it's time for a beer and a leaf game tonight. So we stopped at Wellington last week on Pocapalooza Quadrilogy. I had to go there because it was the very first stop in the very first Pocapalooza in 2016. Wellington Brewery has been around a long time. Um, and they had some new things which we picked up and tried. They were beautiful. And I picked up a couple of what you could consider core beers. And maybe they're not sexy. I think they're sexy. I think they're dead sexy. Dead sexy. Um, so tonight we're going to start. We're gonna, this will be a... A retrospective and a look forward at the same time as we go through these over the next couple weeks. Uh, we're going to start with the Arkell Best Bitter. Uh, they had it in a box, remember, a couple years ago. I haven't talked about this beer in quite some time. Uh, it's a 4% um, Best Bitter, for better, lack of a better word. First brewed in 1985. Why don't you think about that for a second? 38 years ago. Do you think that when they first brewed this beer, they had any idea where Wellington Brewery was going to end up? Because if you haven't been there in a long time, they had a massive expansion. They have a great tap room. It's, it's huge. Welly is one of the giants in Ontario craft beer, and I was really picking up the, the cores. I picked up the Imperial Stout, the very good brown ale. And it brings to mind when we talk about these things and these styles of beer, and again, what I'm finding with going to 23 breweries in a week, and I'm not saying you should do that. You don't have to. You can go to three or four, and you're fine. And if you go to three or four, you can pick up a lot of different things, is the sheer number of different types of beer being made if you step out of your comfort zone. Now, I... I, I don't know if this is available at the LCBO anymore. I You can look it up. Um, you go to the Googles, right? I meant to look it up before. But what I love about this beer is it is just a good best bitter. And that's what Wellington does really, really well, is these English-style beers. And, of course, they branched off into the, you know, Upside IPA is fantastic. All the Queen of Craft beers. There's tons, tons of beers that Welly makes, from sours to lagers to whatever they make. You know, the Hellish Lager. Oh, I love the Hellish Lager. Let's get into this. Cheers, my friends. Like, honestly, that's the type of beer, and I think we had one of these yesterday in a pale lager, that just becomes part of your day. It's a beer that you want to have, like, multiple pints of, and that's a session beer, right? It's 4%, and it's meant to be part of a conversation. You're sitting there just having to be, oh, give me another, you know, bring us another pitcher of uh, our Kel. Um, would be an awesome thing to say in a bar, would it? I mean, oh my God. I've never been to a bar that serves pictures of craft beer. And some craft beers maybe you don't want in a pitcher. This I would want, and I would want to be sharing it with friends. Um... And your biscuity toasted malt body, you know, it's a toffee caramel, a nice floral bit, a nice bit of bitterness on the back end. There's, again, it's not the most, these are not the most exciting beers in the world to a lot of people. And I get it, man, I get it. Like, I love finding those big hot bombs and those boozy <laughs> bastards. And I keep coming back to these beers and going, God damn, that's a good beer. Because it just is. And I think that that's, hopefully you can find that. I mean, really, in you can go to Welly, right? You can get your welly on it, welly. You can find it. But you need to find these different styles. And to do that, sometimes you need to expand your base of operations and visit different breweries and go to different cities. You know, take a day of trip. And we did all day trips on Polka Blues, which is what I'm hoping to talk about. You know, we did day trips except for one and then overnight because we do that for my birthday. But everything else was a day trip. And by 4 o'clock, we're like, okay, we have to be home around 4 o'clock every day because we want to have dinner and enjoy the rest of our evening. And going to Welly certainly does that. And you can pick up really great beers there. Great beers, new, you know, kind of innovative beers too. But if you really want to solidly dial in on some really classic English styles of beer, you can do no better than Wellington Brewery in Guelph. I'm telling you right now. If, if you know, you know. And if you don't know, you should. All right? All right, folk loves you. i got to go watch Leafs and the Islanders because, you know, Johnny T's got to light it up at home. We need it tonight. Let's keep this going, boys. All right, folk loves you. Take her easy. Cheers. Damn beers, what it is. Folk loves them.